All right. Hello, everybody. How's it going, everybody? I'm talking to people here at Sell and Scale, and we're also live on Zoom to hopefully about a thousand participants. People are coming into the room here at Zoom. So we're doing a, I guess you can say this is like a, a simulcast here. Mm -hmm. I've uh, lost my voice at Nelly concert, obviously, as you guys can see. How many people here in the audience and how many people on Zoom have seen our Bigger Better Launch webinars before? We got a few. All right. So for those few who are new, what we're doing here is we, every month, we talk about what's new at Helium 10, you know, either on the education side, on the tool side, on the feature side, every single month, we are launching new things that can help <clears throat> my voice get better. No, that can help you guys get bigger and better as far as your Amazon and Walmart businesses go. And so let's go ahead and talk about what we've launched uh, last month. But before we do that, let me get into, we already said where you guys are watching from, but we're going to throw up a poll here. I want to know um, how many of you guys have gross sales of at least $500,000 in the last 12 months. So if we can throw up that poll, then you guys in the uh, audience can participate too. Like how many here in the audience last 12 months, at least $500,000 worth of sales? All right. We got one, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Very good. And then the rest of you guys, we don't have a not applicable thing because it's either you have or you're about to get there. Those are the two options, guys, as you guys can see on, on Zoom here. All right, let's go ahead and end that poll. We have quite a number. All right, cool. So we got quite a number who are well on their way to $500,000. That is awesome. Let's keep it moving here. How do we close this poll? Because they all can see that. There we go. I'm on a Mac for the first time, <laughs> and I do not know how to use Mac. I'll help you out. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so for those of you watching on Zoom, you know, make sure to take a selfie watching this webinar, post it to your Instagram story, and tag Helium 10 Software. If you guys are watching this in the audience, go ahead and take a selfie, take a picture, post it to Instagram, uh, tag Helium 10 Software and Sell and Scale uh, Summit. And I think we have some, like, uh, extra bonuses Got some swag, right? That we're giving yeah, away. There's supposed to be some swag here. I was checking my notes. There's, I think they're giving some shirts or something. We brought a ton of shirts. <laughs> I know, but the, the people on the watching on Zoom, they can't. Yeah, get but some of these people here. too. All right. So, um, we have one more poll here. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, said that you are already doing five hundred thousand dollars or more. But which of the following statements would be accurate? Can you throw up that poll, Geo? There we go. Nope. There we go. That's one. So if you've had gross revenue of $500,000, uh, which of the following statements? That should be of $500,000. Let's see. Okay. So there's a lot of people who, when they already join Helium 10, they're already a big baller. They're already yeah. a, a scaled seller yeah. doing $500,000. That's awesome. They're in the game. But what I like to see is the majority of those, they hadn't yet reached 500,000, but they got Helium 10, and then that's what helped them reach that goal. And there's a few people out there who don't have a Helium 10 account yet. Totally fine. Remember guys, whatever bucket you fall into here, the things that we're gonna be talking about today um, are gonna have benefit to you. All right, let's go ahead and end that poll. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's go ahead and talk about what we did last month on Bigger Better Launch. So we launched number one, the Amazon PPC Academy. There's still a chance to get in there, guys. Just yep. go to helium10.com forward slash PPC dash academy. It's a 30 uh, module, 30, 30 plus, plus module course <laughs> that you guys can do with Vince and Mina Elias. Yep. We uh, did bulk upload for Atomic. We have listing analyzers, some new updates last month. We had the sales heat maps. By the way, if you are an elite member, um, you should be able to get into sales heat maps. We, we teased that last month, but all elite members uh, can get into there. That's where you can actually uh, just have this visual map of where all your sales are happening in certain time frames. Super cool function for, um, for the elite members. And then what? lastly, the URL for the PPC, PPC Academy, Academy. helium10.com forward slash PPC dash academy that's if you haven't activated it 
yet. And that is currently free the month of September. It's open to anyone who wants to take that course. You see, uh, one of my friends here has already watched it twice at this table. Thank you for that. But uh, guys, check that out this month. And then uh, it will be locked starting October 1st. So get in there while you can. And the last thing that we launched last month was the Chrome extension search expander where you go into the Chrome extension, start typing if you're on Amazon, and then you'll get a whole bunch of suggestions. So the question is, what do we have cooking for September? What's cooking in the kitchen? Uh, we're, let's go ahead and invite our first guest to introduce himself. It's Taryn. Taryn, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you, Bradley. You got uh, one cheer in the audience here. You guys can hear it. Uh, I'm a senior PM. I work on advertising here. I'm really excited to uh, talk about our first uh, announcement at BBL, uh, which is uh, Google Ads and Ad. Hold on, Taryn. I want to find. We need to, the audience needs to find out about you as a person first. They don't know you <laughs> like I know you. So can you can you tell us a little bit about yeah. your background here? This is your debut here. So. <laughs> Tell us, Absolutely. who is this Taryn King? Absolutely. So I, I've been uh, in the ad tech space for about nine years. Uh, I started in automotive. Uh, I worked in the flooring space. I did my own side gig for quite a while. Uh, I sell myself on Amazon. I've been selling for about a year and a half. Uh, I'm not at the level of a lot of you guys. I, I know I will get there. Uh, definitely working at Helium 10 gets me in the best position to do that. Absolutely. Uh, I have two little girls. Uh, I live near the office in Orange County and I'm super stoked to be here. Awesome, awesome. So Taryn King, Kevin King is your uncle. Is that, no, 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 no relation? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, okay, in, in Amazon sense, he's, he's your figurative uncle. All right, so now, all right, now let's get into the nitty gritty of what you're gonna be talking about today. And that is Google ads in Atomic. So ever since we launched attribution about four months ago, we've seen sellers make a ton of tags, right? Tracking external referral efforts. And more often than not, those tags are Google ads tags. When we talk to these sellers, a lot of them say to us, hey, you know, why can't you launch these campaigns for us, right? You make the tags. You know, there's a lot of work actually to do that. So fast forward four months of testing, we tested everything, learned everything the hard way, what doesn't work, what does work. Um, there were a bunch of sellers that helped us with that. If you're here, please connect with me. I'd love to talk to you. Uh, over the course of that experience, we learned what did work, right? We had some sellers that had some amazing results over the course of all these pilots that we ran. Obviously having a direct relationship with the Google partners helps greatly. Um, and so over the course of this, we determined, you know, this does work for sellers, right? And we have a unique opportunity in Atomic to have all of this data to sort of inform how these campaigns are created. So we are going to release a very early version of this. But we already have ideas on how we can improve and iterate and utilize the data that we have to inform your strategy on Google Ads. There is a lot of parallels between Amazon PPC and Google that have worked well. Now, now hold sellers. on for a second. For those who haven't done that though, let's take a step back. Like why would I as an Amazon seller even care about doing Google Ads? Right, yeah. So omnichannel is something that some sellers are kind of adverse to, right? Uh, the common thought is that you get your ducks in a row on Amazon PPC and you don't necessarily want to or need to go into these other networks. And, and with the landscape of PPC, right, the, you, you look at the uh, search results in Amazon, uh, as we all know, there's a lot of real estate that you're competing for. Uh, in terms of using Google ads, there there's an alignment in strategy, right? If it was something completely new and uh, outside of the realm, right? If it didn't have keywords and ad groups and those kinds of things, it'd be a lot more foreign and it'd be a higher lift to do that. But once we determined that the using attribution, that there is a strong ROI strategy that a seller can have, you know, it takes, it takes a minute to get there, but the fact that it can be viable. And then also the idea of improving your rankings on Amazon as well is, is another sort of rationale for why you would take this strategy up. All right, what are we looking at here on this next screen here? Sure, sure. So uh, what you're looking at here is the ability to link your Google Ads account to Helium 10 and then create campaigns through Adtomic after linking that up. Okay, excellent. And what's some feedback? You mentioned that people were in the beta, so yeah. can you give us some feedback that people have had? Yeah, we, we had about uh, 30 amazing sellers uh, in this pilot who just went down this path for us. We you know, we, we threw everything against the wall to see what would stick. Um, there were definitely some success stories from this. Uh, we have 
some of the sellers from this pilot are here and uh, we've connected a little bit, you know, at the Nelly concert and, and so there is hard to hear people there, but um, that's why my voice I, is completely gone today. But mine as well, a little bit. Um, green tea helps, by the way. I had that already. <laughs> way ahead of you. All right, let's uh, talk about what announcement we have for those who are here at Sell and Scale Summit. Right, yeah. So our developers are hard at work building this out um, and we want to get folks to try it out. So for attendees here, we're offering a closed beta list to sign up. So if you guys are interested in, in uh, participating and being the first two, uh, it is offered for S3 attendees in particular. So please come to our booth if you're interested and we'll sign you up and make sure that you guys are the first to get access to this. In terms of other groups, right? We have so many folks that are logged in here. Um, that will be opening up shortly after. So we'll, we'll definitely get into a situation where everyone can take part of this, but we wanna be very selective in the early days to make sure that it's the most stable experience for everyone. Yeah, so first, those who took action and are here in Vegas at Sell and Scale Summit, you know, guys, make your way over to the booth after this, and you can, uh, if you're interested to get more information about this program, those who are watching on Zoom, you should have been here. Hope you have a lot of FOMO, all right? But guys, guess what? Don't worry, you're not gonna be left out. We'll take care of you guys uh, soon as well. All right, thank you so much, uh, Taryn, for joining us today. Thank you. All right, let's move on to the next thing that we want to uh, go ahead and talk about, and that is enhanced data and metrics. So that's right. What are some questions you know that some of our sellers, Amazon sellers, have been wondering about that maybe we can help them on a little bit? Yeah. Uh, so. For those of you who might not know me, who are watching, uh, my no, name is- No, everybody knows you. <laughs> oh, is that why you didn't intro me? <laughs> That's why you, you need no introduction. Sir Tacos is in the house. Yeah, How many people you. went to his Tacos Tuesday? A few of you, all right, excellent, excellent. Uh, so some of you guys know know, the, know this uh, information already, but thank you for using Sir Tacos. I'm trying to upgrade from Sir Tacos to Sir yes. Tacos, so appreciate that. I don't that. know what's after Sir Tacos. We'll, we'll have to think about that. <laughs> Night Tacos, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is one of the things that we did talk about a little bit. And, and uh, these questions that you saw before, even from Google ads and the questions that you see here, like these are questions that we get from you guys, our sellers, and we do listen to you. So uh, if you guys um, know me, then you know I'm in charge of Atomic, which is our PPC uh, platform as far as the, the marketing and training goes. And so we get questions often about, obviously, about ACOS. Uh, and one of the reasons I like to talk about tacos is because of total ACOS, not just because of tacos, the food. We like to talk about things holistically at, um, at Tomic whenever we can. Um, and this is just taking that to uh, the next level. So, you know, we get questions about what hour of the day is my ACOS lowest? When do I actually get the most traffic? Uh, how can I see that within my PPC? Does shopper behavior change over the weekends? I'm sure a lot of you guys know that you've got better sales days than other days. And so looking at that hourly might be kind of cool to, to, to see what is actually happening. Um, how long does it take customers on average to click uh, or convert after they have clicked? So these are some of the questions that I've heard quite a bit. Um, and next slide. And, and, and well, hold on. What? Previously, I, I like, this is an important point because you even been on the podcast, you know, even a couple of years ago, and we talked about like, oh, people want to, uh, you know, turn on and off Yes. Their PPC at different times. Their and campaigns. we would tell them, mm -hmm. no, because you have no visibility, <laughs> right? Yes. But people have been asking for this kind of thing, but th there's no option because you, you how would you know? Uh, yeah. So, so what we're talking about here and what you'll see kind of on the next slide, I mean, at the end of the day, what we're talking about here is day parting, right? So can be a controversial you know, topic uh, uh, because it's really it's shutting off your campaigns. Uh, and how often do you want to be doing that? So it's not something that we really have promoted in the tool because we didn't have that clear visibility. But now that we have hourly analytics, which is the next slide, we are able to then provide that for you, right? So it, we've gone from a uh, more of a conservative stance on you know, day parting to let's go ahead and do this, but actually looking at the data. So we've been able to you know, uh, team up with Amazon Ads, who's here, um, to get uh, hourly data and hourly analytics from them, and we are now using that to inform everything that our sellers are going to see within Atomic is going to be affected by this. And it allows us, once now that we have that data, we're, our, what we're launching here at, uh, uh, and we, what we launched to our elite members yesterday morning was schedules. 
Hold just, on, hold on. I want to see this. This is my one of my first time seeing this here. So I'm looking at this. This is chart. actually, I think this is actually your account. So yeah. So oh great. <laughs> so this this these blue this, the blue line is the A cost. Right. And so the, early in the morning, my A cost is spiking. Right. Exactly. Uh, and then this other line is my my spend. Okay. I see. I see how it is. Yeah. So you can see how your 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 A cost is affected um, and in relation to your spend. Now this is just a screenshot. We did do a demo of this. Uh, if you guys were in the Tacos Tuesday session yesterday, and we will be doing uh, a, another demo again, especially for these watch, you guys watching at home, we're going to be doing. Taryn's going to join me, and we're going to be uh, doing this in more detail at our next Tacos Tuesday, first Tuesday of every single month at ten o'clock. There won't be food there this time. We did have tacos. Did you hear about that? There was actually tacos. We actually tacos had tacos Tuesday. yesterday. Oh. Uh, and it was, it was, I was, my mind was kind of blown because I assumed that most people were in that room because of the tacos, but literally half the people didn't know that we were serving <laughs> tacos. I love it. All right. So, schedules. Now, so, what is this about? So schedules is what we're able to launch because now we do have access to that hourly analytics. So very kind of similar to what you were saying, Bradley, in that previous screenshot, you're able to look at your data and go, you know what? I see this particular hour or hours of the day. Um, on this day, you know, in this time frame that I'm looking at is not performing well for me. So I'm going to take an action on that. And right now that action is I'm just going to schedule a time for the campaign to pause and then unpause. Uh, next version of this is going to be uh, allowing budgets to be uh, moved around and allocated to the more cam uh, performing campaigns at the different times of day. So, but V1 of this is, is your day parting uh, selection. And I, I will say, when this went live yesterday, and again, it's only for our elite users. So if you are elite, you do have access to this. A couple of you have already come up to me and said you've been playing with it since, since yesterday morning, and they're super excited about it. Um, we will be releasing to Diamond, you know, down the line. It typically about a month we usually wait before getting, you know, after we get the feedback from our elite users. Um, but every single user, once you have access to it, you're going to have at least 60 days worth of data. So we've been collecting this hourly data for almost two months. And two months is the exact time frame that we are suggesting as a minimum to be considering the state parting, right? You really want to look at a big chunk of time before making decisions on when my campaign should be turned off and, uh, off and on, right? If you're looking at a very small data set, you might not be getting the, the, the full picture, the big picture. So you've got to be very careful you know, with this. And that's why we've been collecting the data for almost two months so that we could announce it today at the show that you have that capability. Awesome. Awesome. So thank you so much, Vince, for releasing this feature. That's like years in the making almost. So <laughs> we got, really we got started. audible uh, uh, claps yesterday in, in Tacos Tuesday once we talked about this. Awesome. So. Well, I'm sure everybody's applauding in Zoom <laughs> right now. So thanks a lot, Vince, for joining us on the show. Thank you. All right. Let's keep the show on the road. Uh, Lem. Lem is up next. Another man that needs no introduction. But yep. Lem, what is new as far as our mobile, our Helium 10 mobile app goes? Yeah, so we have some new updates in the mobile app. You might have noticed that if you go to the menu tab in the bottom right, we got news, guides, and webinars, which is pretty cool. My favorite is the webinars because you can catch up. Maybe I'm a little biased, but you can catch up on all the previous BBLs that we've had here for the Bigger Better launch. If you go in the archive tab, you can catch up and see all the other so many amazing tool updates and releases that we've shown you guys so far here at Helium 10. And furthermore, we have guides for it, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced seller, you can go ahead and get a bunch of resources that are more so catered based on your seller level, as well as if you just want to keep your pulse on what's happening with Amazon and what's the latest news that you need to know, you can go ahead and check out our Google News section right there and get some of the latest stuff that's happening on Amazon. So I'm just wondering, uh, how many people here have the Helium 10 mobile app downloaded? There we go. Okay. Well, most of you guys, okay. On Zoom, where I think we're going to have a, a poll in a little bit. I don't, I don't know when that poll is going to be. But um, do we have a poll, Gio, for this? There we go. <laughs> what, I'm just wondering, what do you, uh, you, this is the one that you guys can't participate in because it's too complicated here. But those on Zoom, take a look at your screen. And I'm wondering uh, what you guys who have the mobile app, uh, for those watching on Zoom, what do you guys use it for? Which one do you think is going to win, Lem? I would Please. think that it's, the orders only because I know that I love seeing exactly when I get orders in my app. And I'm like addicted to like second swipe yeah. down. Yep, yep. It's almost like a game of like, oh, I got four, I got yep. five, I got six. So I think that'll win. Yep. And that sure enough, that's what's winning. Checking recent orders, checking top level sales metrics. I think the second highest that's surprising to me is keyword research. That's pretty cool. On the go, doing keyword research. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and end that poll.
Perfect, perfect. All right, so if you guys do not have the Helium 10 mobile app, whether you're here, whether you're on Zoom, make sure to go to the uh, Apple Store. Is that what it's called? Play Store? The App Store. App Store? Yeah. What's it called on uh, Androids? Uh, Google Play? See, I, I combine it to <laughs> Apple Play. Google Play Store, all right? And you guys will be able to, uh, to download that. It's a completely free app. All right, next up, we got another special guest here. We've got... Raj from Refersion, or oh, not yet. We're not. We're not going to invite. I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> That's all right. I'm too. I'm so excited about having Raj here. Like I got all bent out of shape. Oh my goodness! All right. Before Raj, mm -hmm. we've got, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, attribution. Yep. So we have some updated metrics for attribution that we can see the progress. So before you even get sales, you can see your total add to carts, and you can also see your total detailed page views. So you can get an idea of the progress of your attribution links as you're going on. And then also with attribution, we are opening up to other marketplaces and we've also opened it up back to Mexico and Netherlands. So if you're having attribution links that in there, we now do own those capabilities within Helium 10. And then lastly, we have our attribution our updates for new publishers. We've now included TikTok and YouTube, which everyone knows are really big platforms and a lot of our users have been pushing for that. So we're really glad to be able to have that availability here for our users today. All right, so just a question for everybody here, regardless if you're using the Helium 10 version of it or you're just doing it in Seller Central, how many so far have taken advantage of using Amazon attribution? We'll go ahead and put up a poll for the Zoom. How many people use that for their Amazon businesses today? Only a couple. You see, I think this is a huge opportunity for a lot of Amazon sellers to start using attribution, getting that uh, brand referral bonus kickback and mm -hmm. driving outside traffic. I'm seeing the same numbers online. Yeah, More than 80% of sellers are not using Amazon attribution yet. So at Helium 10, you know, we didn't create Amazon attribution. This is something that's existing, but we're just trying to make it a little bit easier to use. Absolutely. So guys, get into Helium 10. This is all levels of Helium 10. You, you don't have to be an elite member for this one. You can uh, start using Amazon attribution within Helium 10, start running a, a campaign. We talked about Google ads you know, before. You know, we talked about sending influencer traffic. And speaking of that, uh, hopefully I'm not jumping the gun now. Let's go ahead and close this poll. Oh, there we go. Now our <laughs> special guest here, Raj. And so, so again, since this is the first time you're on here, can you just start off by introducing yourself? Tell us a little bit about your history. Uh, so hi, I'm Raj. So originally I'm from India. I'm just joking. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I am the CMO of Refersion. Uh, been there almost uh, actually a couple of years now. Time is flying as we're building one of the most amazing affiliate marketing platforms for multi-channel e-commerce brands. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about Refersion. Yeah, so Refersion is a affiliate marketing platform. Uh, we cater to multi-channel e-commerce brands. So think about uh, an e-commerce brand that's selling direct to consumer. Mm -hmm. They're selling on Shopify. They're on Amazon. They're on like multiple marketplaces. Yeah. Uh, our job is to make sure that, you know, they have all the services that they need in order to recruit affiliates, uh, manage affiliates, and then all the downstream operational uh, needs that they have, like uh, commissions, payments, yeah. taxes, all built into the platform. I love that. I love that it's all like just housed in one. Yeah. And the beauty is like thing. it connects to everything too. So you don't yeah. have to manually go do anything. It's just a turnkey product that, you know, connects to Shopify, connects yeah. to Amazon. And, uh, you know, if you can click, point, click, mm -hmm. use a, on a device, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, can, uh, you can do that because we haven't done holograms, but almost yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that noted. So, of course, that's a really awesome uh, opportunity now with Refersion. So tell us a little bit about how Helium 10 users can get started with Refersion. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, you just go to Refersion.com <laughs> uh, and... Uh, you know, we have or this QR code that we have or on that screen. QR code. And uh, you can uh, basically, if you, first of all, like check out like what we do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, we help you not just discover and find affiliates. Yeah. Um, think about like, uh, let's talk about health and wellness, right? People sell supplements, people sell For sure. uh, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of sellers here. Actually, we've been talking to a bunch of them that are in health, well, health and wellness. So let's take that as an example. Uh, you can go find uh, publishers, affiliates who are in health and wellness that are willing to promote your brand, your product. Um, and what you do is like, we make it super easy for you to connect to Amazon, 
pull your product feed and start basically promoting those products with affiliates. And as soon as they start promoting your links out there, which yeah. also, by the way, uh, I'm sure a lot of you love SEO, that creates yeah. backlinks, uh, that creates traffic to mm -hmm. your product listing on Amazon, which uh, increases your organic rank. Uh, so there's a lot of byproducts of affiliate marketing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we help you basically then uh, not just promote it, but then track everything. You're talking about attribution. So yeah, it's all first party tracking, cookie lists, and uh, you can then see who is your top affiliate, incentivize them more. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically uh, love what you do, which is make money. <laughs> <laughs> I love that answer. I love it. And so tell us a little bit about the difference between Refersion's affiliate program and Amazon's affiliate marketing program. Yeah, it's, uh, so there's some uh, definitely differences. One is uh, you can, you're, you're actually in more control, right? So really? wow. Amazon, uh, Amazon's obviously in yeah. control. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you can set a longer cookie window. Mm. Um, you know, Amazon caps commission rates. So if you want to incentivize affiliates and, you know, just like you want to make money, affiliates yeah. want to make money too. Of course. So you can uh, increase commission rates, decrease commission rates. Um, you, have, you have full control when it comes to that. So, I mean, that's the beauty of this is that you can still do Amazon. We're not saying pick one or the other. So I'm mutually exclusive, but it just gives you a lot more control over your, you know, if you have your own customers who are your affiliates, mm -hmm. publishers, like think about a Forbes or think about like an editorial like Condé Nast or somebody else that's promoting your product. Uh, you can set like instead of a five day cookie window, like a 30 day cookie window, 60 day cookie window. And that just incentivizes affiliates because the yeah. beauty of affiliate marketing is not you know, it's easy to go make money. But like if you can figure out a way to recruit and retain affiliates, that is how you make money. If you can if you can engage and retain affiliates, they will promote for you at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. So, and that just gives them, you know, again, they are, they're incentivized at the end of the day. Absolutely. I love that. And I love you know, I'm never going to turn away from, oh, I get more. And control. I love you, Lam. Like, <laughs> this is, if Bradley wasn't here right now, like, it just, I know. I by know. the way, it's so nice he's to, in, like, find a little romance right now. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, I think that's awesome. I and mean, we have a QR code right now on our screen. So it's like you said, it's a no brainer. Just go to refersion.com and yep. get started today. Yeah. You can uh, basically, you can, there's a, uh, you can request a demo. We're happy mm -hmm. to set you up. It's like a quick 30 minute demo. We'll walk you through the platform. If you're here, stop by our booth. We can give you a demo there. Uh, come check it out. Uh, and that's, you know, that's the beauty of it. It's, it's super, it's super simple. The platform does everything for you. So if you're, uh, if you're, if there's uncertainty, cause people inherently avoid uncertainty, <laughs> we can give you certainty and how easy it is. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Raj, for joining us. Oh, I'm not leaving. And I hope, I know. <laughs> hey, I, I hope this is, this is the first, but not last time you'll come and uh, announce something cool on BBL. All right. Thank we'll you very there. much. All right, next up, we've got Shivali, somebody else who doesn't need too much of an introduction because she's all over the place here. Uh, talk about estimated brand value and the updates we have to this tool, please. Yes, so over the last few months, all right, all right. So over the last few months, we've had some upgrades to the estimated brand value. And as usual, we're keeping that going. So estimated brand value, if you're not aware, inside of your Helium 10 dashboard, you'll have access to this in the top right-hand corner. So if you click learn more, it's a great way to just keep a pulse on your business. If you wanna exit your business, it'll give you an idea of what the total value of your business is. And inside of it, you can, in the top right-hand corner, once you click learn more, you'll be able to switch between different accounts if you have different accounts inside of Helium 10. The top area that you're looking at, the total value, is going to be sort of the historical context of your business, where that value has been, what is kind of changing. And then the bottom section is actually what's new. So see what's possible through changing up your current sales. You can change the current sales as well as the growth rate of your business. So let's say if you were going to increase that growth rate or maybe if something happened to your business and that growth rates declined, you'll be able to see how that changes your estimated brand value. And uh, it'll also give you access to some tools inside of Helium 10, what you can use to uh, kind of enhance your business just overall. Excellent. So that Excellent. is estimated brand value. All right. We have another uh, addition that you're going, or not addition, but or kind of an addition, yeah, uh, enhancement yeah. to our subscription page here. Yes. So this is your subscription summary. It's going to show up inside your plans and billing section. And once you click it, you'll be able to get an overview of what your plan is. I'm sure you guys are aware. I mean, you're, you're paying for it. I know you know. But what's cool is you guys have been asking 
us for some customization requests. So if you want to grow your team, you want to add some users, or if you just want to maybe add some tokens, you can now do that by yourself without having to contact us inside of your plans and billing. Just click edit subscription next to your subscription summary, and you'll be able to do that all by yourself. Yeah. So the first couple of, I mean, we're going to add more things that you can add. Like a lot of people have been asking, Hey, I want to be able to add more keywords and keyword tracker or more markets and market tracker. So in the future, you know, depending on your guys' feedback, we'll go ahead and add more of this. But for now, the, the top two that people were asking for was like more users. That means more seats so that you can have different logins, more sub accounts for your employees uh, to Helium 10. And then also more tokens or more marketplaces like, hey, you're expanding. Now you're going to have three different Amazon accounts or now you're going to have three different Walmart accounts or now you're going to expand to Amazon Australia. You need to add that token. So now you can do that one by one here on your customization screen. Speaking of Market Tracker, you know, we have the Advanced Market Tracker, which is Market Tracker 360. And so we have some new updates in that tool that you can tell us about. So what you're looking at is Market Tracker on steroids. <laughs> this, we've just added a product analysis section, and that is just so you can get not only the closer look at each product inside of your market create. So once you've created that market and you have the curation section done, you have your market view composed of all the products that are inside your niche, that are coming in, whether via dynamic tracking or maybe you have it set on static and you chose those products, but you can go in, take a look at each product. So right, right now, the slide that we have up is specifically for if you only selected one product. So if you're in your overall market chart or your all products chart and you selected a product, this is what you would see. You would see the listing quality score of that actual listing for that product, as well as the sales insight. So for the sales insight, you'll be able to um, take a look at the drop down. There's actually two drop downs you can select from. So that means if you want to take a look at your revenue, your unit sales, your pricing, your number of uh, reviews, you'd be able to select two of those and look at it on the same chart just to get an idea of a better conclusion that you want to draw for that product uh, listing specifically. And then if you scroll a little bit down, you'll see there's market averages. So all the products that you have selected based on the filtering criteria, as well as just uh, any other inputs you did when you were creating and curating that market you'd be able to see how that product stacks up to those market averages as well. Going a little bit further down, you'll see uh, you have your keyword section. So keyword section will take a look at your top keywords uh, for that product. So which keywords are really generating those sales? It'll, be, you'll, it'll show you the rank, the search volume, the search volume trend, the number of competing products. And then outside of that, you also have your top search volume trend and then top search volume. So those keywords, you can kind of select those little different tabs that you have access to and get a better feel for that product. Now, we did also add competitor comparison as well. So inside of your all products or your link table, you'll be able to bulk select any of those products that you want to take a look at together and then select them, add them to compare, and it will take you directly into the product analysis page where you have the competitor overview tab as well. And inside of that, Similar to the product analysis that you see for one product, you'll be able to see them all together. So you'll see the listing quality score of each of those products you've selected uh, right next to one another, as well as scrolling a little bit further down, same exact thing for what we just discussed, the market averages, as well as the keyword section. You'll just be able to see it all next to one another, and you'll be able to toggle on and off each of those products you want to see. If you're here at Sell and Scale, and you want to actually see what this looks like, just head over to the Helium 10 booth and you can get a demo on Market Tracker 360. This is a separate uh, program than like your regular platinum or diamond or elite account, but go ahead and head on over there and you can get a demo. And those of you watching, um, those of you watching online, you can also uh, arrange a demo. What, do, you, do you remember the website offhand of where people can join? I forgot uh, it. But if you just go to helium10.com and look up Market Tracker 360, you'll be able to get a free demo uh, for those of you large sellers out there who want to see if this is right for you. So thank you so much, yes. uh, Shivali, for these uh, updates. Now, next thing we want to talk about is the Chrome extension. So this is something that we have the you know most used Chrome extension in the world for Amazon sellers. Over 800,000 of you guys are using the Chrome extension now. And so now when you're on an Amazon product page, you're going to see this at the very top. So this is like our coffin shelf page. And there's this new little widget that's going to come up at the end of this week, whenever the Chrome store updates it, where you're going to see the listing health score, the 30 day sales without having to click x-ray. You're going to see the inventory left of it. You know, that's like if you have to run inventory levels, but you're going to see that right there without having to click anything, the FBA fee and how many variations. When you click on view more, 
you are going to see some new cool things, which, for example, you're going to see some, uh, again, without clicking x-ray, you're going to see uh, the creation date, the dimensions, the weight, the main category BSR, the subcategory BSR, the ratings, the ASIN, if you just want to copy it to take to another tool, all of this immediately without even having to do x-ray. And then if you hit this other tab, which is marketplace, this is where the magic this is where the magic's going to happen, right? So you can be on any listing on Amazon. You hit the marketplace tab on this new little widget. You're going to see all of the Amazon marketplaces that this ASIN is being sold on. And let me tell you, if you're not selling on all these marketplaces, you might not even realize that there might be somebody else selling your ASIN, right? This is the coffin shelf. I only sell in Mexico and USA, this coffin shelf. However, somebody is selling our coffin shelf in Spain, in France, in Netherlands, in Germany, in Japan, in the UK, in Italy, in India, and Australia. That means we technically have a, a hijacker or somebody selling our product. You could be doing research on a competitor and wondering, hmm, how strong is this competitor? Is he only focused on one market or is he selling in different marketplaces? So with just a click of the button, you can see that. So as soon as this gets released, those of you watching on Zoom, those of you here at Sell and Scale, I would say first go to your own products and run this. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be surprised. I guarantee you at least one or two marketplaces, somebody is on your ASIN and you didn't even realize it, all right? But again, like I said, don't just use it on your own products. This is something that you can use for your competitor marketplaces as well. The next tool, I'm allergic to Las Vegas, guys. Oh my goodness, I apologize. <laughs> I don't know if it's a dust in the air or something. I got allergies like crazy. Listing analyzer. This is not a new tool, but this is you know, our existing tool that we've had for a few months now. We have uh, some new updates. So when you enter in either one product or multiple products with the first product being yours, in other words, it comes from your own account that you have connected to Helium 10. Now you're going to see this new kind of summary at the very top. And you're going to see a listing quality score, the price, the stock. So this is the inventory. So just you're going to be able to see in real time the inventory, how many reviews, how old the listing is. Some of this information you're going to be able to see even if it's not your product. The one that you could only see if it is your product is this sales overview that has overlaid the alerts. You know, so like let's say you got a bunch of five-star reviews or a bunch of one-star reviews. It plots it. Uh, in a chronological order so that you can see, did my sales get affected by this thing that happened to my account? Uh, as you scroll down, we have some new cool updates, which is your detail page traffic and conversions. These are from the business reports where you can see your page views and your conversion rate, your page view rate. You'll be able to see that now right here within Listing Analyzer. Again, if this is your product, you, we obviously can't you know show you that for your competitor products, but this is super cool. We, we launched business reports inside of Helium 10 a few months ago, but now it's going to be in this cool graphical format in Listing Analyzer. Uh, more updates. I know this is kind of small to see, but as you scroll down to get into the details of Listing Analyzer, you're going to see a, a lot more details. It's kind of like, think about if you were combining X-ray with black box and Cerebro all in one, just so you can kind of have one view of all of these products that you're analyzing. So you're gonna be able to see the monthly sales and the review count, who's the seller, uh, what the last year sales were, what the weight of the product is, how many top 10 keywords they have, what's the number of search volume for all their top 10 keywords. That's actually a, a kind of slept upon metric, but that's very important. Yeah, I could be uh, top 10 for 1000 keywords, but if they all have 50 search volume, you know, can I really be boasting about that? So you can see, for example, right here, there's a, a big difference. There's one uh, customer or one competitor who has their top 10 keywords has 50,000 search volume reach. But another competitor here only has 5,000, you know, 10%. 10%? I think that's right. I don't know. It's the morning time. I didn't sleep much last night. <laughs> but listing analyzer, guys, this is going to be, uh, I think it's available. Vincent, this is available right now. Diamond and Elite or just Elite? Elite. So if you're an Elite member, you have access to this immediately. Diamond, it'll be slowly rolled out to you guys as well. So make sure to utilize this. Now, quick question for you guys. What's your favorite Amazon data point? So when I say data point, that's like one of these new metrics that Amazon has, you know, product opportunity explorer is super cool. Search query performance is cool. 
if you guys listen to my podcast recently, my favorite has always been and still is brand analytics. It's just like the truth for me. A lot of these newer things I've seen in Amazon, I'm still able, like, I don't understand, like, uh, this doesn't make sense. Like, I can't even correlate it to something on my, I still use them, but brand analytics to me is bulletproof. Like, I've done tests on it where I'm like, I'll take a, a low search volume keyword where there's almost no clicks and sales, and then I'll just go ahead and purchase it myself and do a click. And then sure enough, the next week, boom, that one click, that one sale is right there in brand analytics. To me, brand analytics is the most awesome thing that Amazon has ever released. And in the past, people have always been asking, we want to be able to have an, an easier way to have brand analytics within Helium 10. And we've always said, no, sorry, we can't do that because that's against Amazon terms of service. It's right there. We, you can only uh, show that to people who have brand registry. And there is no real way to kind of verify uh, that on our end. But a few weeks ago, Amazon actually opened up now the API which is what, you know, how tools like Helium 10 connect to Amazon, this data point. So I'm very happy to announce that brand analytics is now going to be inside of Cerebro. All right. So the very first metric, and this is, this is just the beginning, uh, but here's how, what we're starting with. You're going to see a new column that says uh, brand analytics, total click share. All right. So this is what you see in brand analytics. So you're doing your regular Cerebro search and then it comes up with hundreds and thousands of keywords. Well, if one of these keywords uh, or if any of these keywords were in brand analytics, you're going to see the total share. Now, now how, how would you use that? So for example, let's say um, you saw a total share of 75%. Well, that basically means that the top three clicked products for that keyword are eating up 75% of all of the clicks. So what do you take from that? You know, you could be using this in product research or keyword research. You're like, man, there's only, there's three products who are just dominating. So, so you can look at it two ways. You can be like, okay, well, maybe everybody else sucks. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in and become one of those top three. Or you're like, you know what? I might stay away from this keyword because these guys are just killing the game on it. On the flip side, let's say you saw a keyword where the top three click share was only 5%. What does that mean? That means that's a wide open keyword where if the top three click, they only make up 5% of the shares. That means the other products on page one are, are doing 95%. Hey, that might mean there's a lot of opportunity. Whatever that means for you, now you have that ability. I mean, hopefully you guys have been using brand analytics you know, on, on, their, on its own for things like this, but now you're instantly going to be able to see it inside of Helium 10. The next thing, you're going to be in Helium 10 in Cerebro. You see a keyword. You can expand it out once you hit this brand analytics button. And then you're going to see the history in brand analytics of this keyword. Like, for example, the history of which were the top three ASINs clicked. Again, this is directly from brand analytics. So, like, uh, this keyword here that you guys are seeing is egg holder. And I can see on these different dates which were the top three clicked. And I can actually go weekly, monthly, or quarterly to look back in history at that. Next up, this is all in the same little widget right here. You're going to have not only the history of these top three clicked, but then also the click share history and the conversion share history and be able to see that. I love looking at this in brand analytics. Like, let's say I find uh, the top three click products have 50% of the clicks, but I see the conversion share means how much percentage of the actual purchases that happen after this keyword do they have? It only has like 10%. Instantly, I'm getting amazing insights. Like, wow, people love these, uh, love this. Or they're actually looking for something, but they click on these products and they are not seeing what they like because they're obviously clicking off and buying other products. Very insightful. Now you have that right there within Cerebro. But not only that, you're going to have these other features that are from Helium 10 that obviously you couldn't see in brand analytics. So right there next to the click share and conversion share, you're going to see the organic rank history, the average organic rank uh, of any given month. So like, let's say I'm looking at brand analytics for a keyword for July of 2022. I'm going to see for these top three click products, what was the average page rank of them? Were they doing sponsored ad? If so, what was the average position they were in in sponsored rank? So this is like something that you probably were doing maybe, but it was kind of hard. You probably had to put it in key keyword tracker and then you had to have a brand analytics tab open. Maybe you had a Cerebro tab open and try and kind of visualize it all together. 
no longer need to do that. It's all right here in one place. So I, I want to say this. How cool is that? Pretty cool, I think. Pretty cool, I think. Very good. <laughs> even though even even the the Walmart uh, VP stole my tagline. I love that. That was it's not my tagline. It's Manny Coates' cat tagline. The the originator of uh, Helium Ten. So uh, we have more details here. Where you? Let me see if I can pull it up here. Brand, uh, in this brand analytics in Cerebro, you're going to actually see a graphical um, history of the conversion and click share so that you can see how that total is going or the individual ASINs uh, click share has been going over time. So again, how cool is that? Pretty cool, I think. Um, next up, we have got, uh, or actually, uh, Lem, can you tell us you know, all of these things have mm -hmm. come from our users that we talked about today. People have been asking for Google ads. People have been asking for ways to add things to their, to their, um, you know, to their account. People have been asking for brand analytics. Probably, how did they get their message to us that they wanted these things? They provided this feedback directly to us. And there's actually a really awesome way you can do that right now in Helium 10. If you look at your dashboard, you look at the top, you're going to see that question mark right there. You'll click on that question mark. Then you just click share your ideas or request new features. And this is going to real humans. We're actually looking at this and we actually take it into consideration, which is why it's fueled so many of these many innovations and great ideas that we've had in our BBLs so far, all from this feature of just listening to our users and taking it seriously and implementing it into Helium 10. All right, I wanna see what people are most excited about on Zoom. So if we can throw up that, Whole Geo. We, we launched about 10 different things today uh, here, and I want to know what people on Zoom are most excited about. Um, I would say one of the top two, like here in the audience, which is more exciting for you? I would say, you know, Google Ads, raise your hand if it was the Google Ads announcement inside of Helium 10. All right, people are still not on board with Google Ads. How about <laughs> the day partying, uh, scheduling, and Atomic? Okay, a couple of you. How about brand analytics for Cerebro? All right, that's the one, that's the one. Let's see if that's the same case on, on Zoom. And yes, it is. Yeah. Brand analytics is number one. I know it's number one for me. I've been wanting this forever. It's gonna make my life a lot easier when I'm doing my research. So super cool. All right, guys, let me give you guys information on, if you have, some people are asking about replays of, of different BBLs that you guys have missed. So you can find that at, where, Shivali? You can use the QR code right here, and you can also go to helium10.com forward slash launches. So if you've missed a webinar that we've done for Bigger Better Launch or you're curious about what's new, make sure that you go and check this out. All right, and Lem, uh, when is our next BBL? Our next BBL will be Thursday, October 20th at 11 a.m. PST. Excellent, excellent. How are you guys liking, I was about to say BBL, how are you guys liking sell and scale so far? Loving it, loving it. I like. I wish those of you watching from home would have, you know, been able to experience this as well. What was your maybe top session that you saw yesterday, or your favorite one that you saw? I don't know if I can say that because all of these are so power packed. I mean, plus there's speakers out here; they might get offended yeah, if she picks one over the other. <laughs> Lim, are you brave enough to say which one you like? Um, I'll kind of answer the question. I'd say the Elite <laughs> Workshop was my favorite of the being here okay. at sound scales i know that's not really a session but it was just so jam-packed with so much awesome information and you get to like talk and like meet a bunch of Network. awesome people who like yeah. are just so like-minded with you that that was kind of my favorite so i'm kind of writing defense on with my answer on that one awesome all right guys well thank you so much for joining us in the meantime if you can't wait till next bbl to get some great info make sure to listen to the Serious Sellers podcast. It's free every Tuesday and Saturday. We just launched another great episode yesterday. And today we have an episode that came out with uh, updates on uh, all of the new things that were launched at Amazon Accelerate. That was Amazon's conference last week. There was a lot of cool stuff announced by Amazon. So we recap that in today's weekly buzz uh, that you'll also see that on the Serious Sellers podcast. But until next month, guys, live from Las Vegas, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now. See ya.